So I'm here with Rob Earnshaw, who very kindly gave up his time to visit Trinity TV yesterday. Thank you so much for being the first ever guest to come visit us. Yesterday you spoke about how you first got into the industry and why. What advice would you have for young aspiring actors today at the moment? I think young aspiring actors um, under 25 is just to be realistic with their talents. I mean, a lot of people say it's a very hard industry to get into. I actually don't believe that's true. I think um, a young actor, if you've got the talent and you've got the passion and you've got the drive, it's a very simple industry to, 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 to get into. Um, you just got to stick at it and make sure that um, you get as much show real material as possible, make sure that you're uh, performing in plays if it's theatre that you want to do and inviting agents and casting directors to come and see you. And how would you advise a young actor who might not have access to equipment to make a good showreel? Um, borrow your mate's mobile phone. Um, Technology has changed so much now that you can actually make quite a good little piece of uh, material on, on, on a mobile phone. Everyone's got access to an iPhone, so if you don't have access to a, a £15,000 camera, just do something on your mobile phone, put it up on, uh, on a website that you may have, um, and just go and create as much stuff as you possibly can. That's exciting. So everyone has the opportunity then to get involved and just make their own work. Yeah, that's, that's what I believe anyway. I mean, if you've got friends who are actors or you've got friends who are involved in film, theatre, just go out and make stuff. That's the, that's the only way to get really uh, showcase your talents, I believe. Great. And you're the director of the National Youth Film Academy. Why did you first set this up and how do you feel it can help actors and filmmakers today? Yeah, I was very fortunate. I set up the National Youth Film Academy a few years ago uh, to try and address the problem that there's, uh, there's a lot of youth organisations which are fantastic out there. They try and help young uh, aspiring actors or, or um, help them gain confidence or, or, or bring them into an industry. But what we try and do is bridge that gap between um, talent and employment. Uh, set up a few years ago with the support of the BFI, which was very uh, kind of them. Uh, and since then, we've helped hundreds of young actors, hundreds of young filmmakers sort of get jobs in, in, in the film industry. It's really inspiring. It's such a wonderful opportunity, especially today when it's it's quite hard to access training. Well, I think it's not necessarily... I mean, I've, I'm a keen believer. If you've got the talent, you've got the talent. Um, what we try and do is um, filter out the wheat from the chaff uh, and then put them in, put young people in front of those who can inspire them. Uh, uh, speakers, we've been very fortunate to have people like Ian Canning, who produces the King's Speech, uh, uh, lovely casting directors like Sue Jones. Uh, and it's not necessarily... Try, what, what we try and do is we don't try and... Um, I don't know, spoon feed young actors or spoon feed young uh, young filmmakers. It's about sort of holding them by the hand and just sort of inspiring them through uh, uh, telling stories of their own mistakes or uh, or giving advice of, of how they've made it in the industry. And I think that uh, works best for us. Wonderful. And what is next for you in terms of the industry? You spoke a lot yesterday about how it's changing and developing. And I know you have projects in many different fields. So what do you feel would be best for yourself? Myself? Uh, <laughs> uh, what, what, what would help? We, uh, I believe that the industry is changing an awful lot in terms of uh, media has become more accessible for, for, for everybody. Uh, and a lot of people now, if you want to go and watch a film, you can download it for free, uh, albeit maybe illegally on, online. And a lot <laughs> of young people are realising that. So I think the industry is changing in such a way that people have to understand uh, that you have to make more, or you have to make money different ways in this, this industry. And if someone can crack how uh, how to monetize uh, people watching content for free, um, then I think they'll be a very wealthy person. Uh, in regards to um, getting yourself out there, as I said before, you can go and make something on a mobile phone. So just put it out on YouTube, put it out on other multi-platform channels, and, and just show your work. I think that's the, the best advice I can give. Brilliant. Onwards and up. I'm really excited about that advice, actually. Thank you so much again for coming to Speech Twin TV and for offering so much advice to people trying to get out there and make something themselves. We really appreciate it. It's a pleasure being here. It's uh, fantastic. Thank you very much, Sarah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is Sarah Arg reporting for Trinity TV.